Hey everyone, Cosmos here from Dolly Games. In this video, we're going to be looking at the new version patch uh, 8.1, uh, the goddess feature. So I haven't seen it myself as well. It's going to be a uh, first look for me as well. So let's get going. Uh, it's located under uh, on top of the skills icon. I'm not sure why it's there, but okay. So it's goddess, and there's also this new loading. Uh, thingy which is nice all right so um so, so uh, some friends have uh, mentioned to me that this seems to be a very similar system from another game um and that is possible yes uh, i i know the the system they're talking about but I, i'm not gonna uh, go into that in this video in this video we're just gonna look at it uh, for fortune uh, what it is and what it does so we got goddess here we have Lenith War One, War Level One, Fate Level One, um, and these are supposed to be, um, I think, um, not like Dragon Chant, which is a kind of a separate character, but these are uh, stuff that like, um, and not kind of like Sylphs, but without the Sylph itself, I think. So um, yeah, a, a little bit confusing maybe to begin with, but let let's start looking at what we can do here so to activate these things we need um, shards of each of the goddesses I suppose here you need Lineage shards uh, of course I don't have them um, Cassandra shard so 50 shards to to activate or, or to upgrade or activate and also summon it and then it's it's under the upgrade window so probably in the same window uh, when you have additional shards you'll you'll be able to um, activate it so here he's uh, already showing us uh, the max level i guess uh, so level 240 will be the max i suppose for the goddesses we will start of course at level one and uh, how many is that three three ten ten stars uh, so there could be two uh, things to level up, maybe the level and also the stars, kind of like the artifact. Alright, let's have a look at what, they, what skills they have. So, Lens of Victory deals 10,000 physical damage. <laughs> so, of course, this is, I guess, on the max level uh, to all enemies and deals 3,333% damage to uh, a random unit each round for two rounds. Well, this seems to be, like, overpowered. Um, I guess one shot one kill type of a thing uh, and then you have the so this is at level 41 and then you have the aura um, and the auras I guess is for the whole party uh, whereas the skill is for just the skill of, that she casts so level 1 all friendly units um, max health uh, plus 5% level 2 Damage plus 5% level 3 all enemy units minus 5% block um, Level 4 disable enemy heroes fifth titan skill. That's a really weird one uh, Level 5 all friendly units receive plus 10% healing That is Is that every round or okay? It's unclear and then you have the bonus uh, that the hero, the main hero, I suppose, will get from this goddess. It's going to be for the Lineth goddess. It's going to be half a million attack, one and a half million defenses, and of course this is on the maxed out level. So this is like way in the future for us. And then uh, health, uh, it's almost eight million. So each of the goddesses, I suppose, will have a different function. So the fate goddess here. Uh, also does damage and buffs all friendly units so they take 15% less damage for two rounds so we'll, we'll go into details of their skills um, I guess a bit later on or just uh, let's have a quick look at them uh, the aura here are rather similar different uh, buffs here and there um, the auras are of course um, not useful so much in a single player way but uh, if you do team arena or something like that um, then they, they, be, they will become useful and what's what's interesting is will all the auras stack because that, that then that becomes a lot so if you have four players and four of them give five percent health and then that's going to be uh, a lot more health <laughs> uh, 
uh, like this one has on level 2 10% crit damage well if 4 people have that that's 40% or actually more than 40% crit damage all enemy units suffer 5% damage um, and then again the healing thing let's look at the auras first again it seems uh, fixed the first one is health the last uh, the last two are disabling titan and uh, healing and the only seems to change in the second and third level and uh, units deal 5% less damage and units receive 10% less healing less crit more crit and this one block and uh, less damage okay so the auras are clear the skills are look to be very powerful of course the first one is, is insane 10,000 physical damage um, the second one is at 15,000 magic damage to two to four enemy, uh, random enemies and, and more stuff as written below Blazing Radiance, 16, almost 17,000 damage to 2, and uh, I, I can't even imagine this kind of figures. Um, this one is 24,000 physical damage to a random enemy, with a chance 20 percent to also stun them for 2 rounds. Yeah, kind of crazy. Um, this one, 24,000 magic damage to round, uh, random enemy and deals... 1620 damage to all enemies so insane stuff uh, let's agree it's insane stuff and then in terms of stats the first one we saw the second one is similarish but a bit less stats okay third one has a ton more health hysteria has over 10 million in health but less defense and then uh, this one what is that Il I don't know how to pronounce that. Ilya um, has also almost 10 million in health, but also proportionally less attack and defense. Uh, then we have uh, Hecate has the most attack, it seems. Uh, a bit lower defenses, but I guess in, uh, we, we can check later in totals, but I'm guessing the totals will be the same. So it's just the different distribution of stats. I can't seem to click on advanced and devotion, uh, those are blocked, so I'm not sure, uh, let, let's go over to, to some battle um, and see if they pop up or I have to activate them somehow, because I don't have those shards to activate them and um, I don't know if they will be giving those out or we have to wait uh, for them to appear in lucky exchanges and such. But I would guess that they will um, they will let people have at least one goddess, and then uh, maybe cashers can have more than one goddess to start with. Okay, let, let's just attack this thing and see. Um, I know there's supposed to be a fade counter. Uh, great, uh, a fade counter on the bottom right side. So let's have a look at that. Or maybe I should go to spire so that we can see how fast or how slow it. Uh, it loads up. Yeah, on this server is a lot of lag, so everything is gonna be super slow. I don't really play here, it's just to make videos for you guys. Yeah, here it is in pink, um, and we didn't get to see it. So I'm gonna go to Spire, I think that's gonna be where we can see it. Let's go back. Oh, unless, uh, right, since I don't have a goddess activated, uh, that thing probably doesn't show up. Uh, where can we test that? Where can we test that? Okay, let's go to Spire. Anyhow, it's gonna be very quick. Or, or we can go to Broken Space. Yeah, let's do that. That's a bit shorter. I just need a bit longer um, battle so we can have a look at the, the fade counter. So, so far it's zero. I'm guessing it will stay at zero since Goddess is not activated, but we're just testing it out. We also have. Um, 
this is from Delphic Energy Fountain. Okay, I guess that's uh, from the willpower. Yeah, it's just this pink pink thingy. And then, um, kind of like uh, Self Awakening or um, Willpower Awakening, I guess it, it fills up to some value. Um, and then the goddess uh, does her skill. And then again, and, and then it resets, and then again, um, that happens. So yeah, n nothing happens right now, so she needs to be activated first. Well, at least we tested that out. Okay, let, let him come out, otherwise maybe the game will get stuck or something. Alrighty, so um, that's about it because there is nothing else I can click on. There is no help button here. It's just a straight, straightforward summoning, um, and we can't see the advance and devotion windows either. All right, a small update. So I was looking at the developer guide. So uh, there are actually going to be three things we need to uh, upgrade with the goddesses. So um, I thought it was only two, but there are three. There is the upgrade, which is using some crystals. Um, then there is the advance, which is using something else. And then there's the devotion, which is using something else. So there's going to be three items that we need to gather. To uh, further upgrade these goddesses, apart from the activation, of course. And um, actually, I'm gonna have a check in the. Qu no, I don't find anywhere where I can get it um, just yet. But I guess we will find out soon enough where those things are. Um, whoops, that was the troops. Where, where we can get those. Uh, those items right now I have no idea it could be events it could be something um, uh, but I haven't checked the whole um, patch yet so it could be some kind of uh, activity that we could do daily to gather them slowly but I think that it's safe to say that the logic will probably remain the same that um, cashers will first uh, get more which is fair uh, because they're spending money supporting the game and everything uh, and then everybody else will be able to gather um, a little bit in the beginning or I don't know but the proportional is probably going to be uh, kept as, as, it, as it was historically and um, we have to of course choose which one uh, to activate and uh, that's probably going to be discussion for another time but uh, especially for free players um, I'd uh, suggest to be uh, to not rush and uh, think carefully which one you want to go for because if this is like artifacts in, in, in the sense that, that we're gonna need a lot of items to max them out uh, we, we really need to pick the right one to start with because it will take us a long time to max out even that one before we start working on other ones and I can easily imagine uh, I know the game um, my friends were referring to so I can easily imagine that they will add more goddesses um, you know in future patches and so forth um, with just a uh, you know here just additionally so um, this is this is like a whole new chapter kind of <laughs> which has been added to Warchun so it could become quite big uh, as, as we go forward uh, but the stats are massive as you can see um, and they come on top of all the stats we already have uh, so that's all I have now for Goddess, uh, when I have some more updates, I'll update you guys. Uh, thanks for watching, if you have additional information that uh, you wanna uh, share to, to help each other, put it in the comments below so that everybody can read it. And uh, yeah, that's it for now, please do cl click on like and subscribe if you enjoyed, share with friends and I'll put all the links in the description uh, of the video. Uh, my Warchun blog at warchun.dollygames.com and my gaming portal at dollygames.com. So that's it you guys, thanks for watching and have a very nice day.